I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> Am I back on Earth? No. You are anywhere but. Oh. It's you again. Yes. And I've appeared to notice that you have been on Earth for over a year. And you have made very little progress. Yeah, I know it's a slow pro progress. But here's the thing. I am trying to do something. You see, I'm going to fight this battle with them. And then... Eventually, I will kill them. Now, one of them is already dead. Been dead before I was even here. I'm pretty sure that Albardo guy is dead too. I mainly tried to find him so that they can gain my trust even further. Which doesn't really make sense. I mean, they think I'm actually film though. So, yeah. Well... I shall give you one more year to do this. But since, um, since May of next year, I'm actually going to be kind of busy with, um, my son's graduation. I'll give you an extra four months since I have nothing going on in September that year. Yes, I plan very far in advance. Okay. You're going to give me about another year and a half to do it, correct? Yeah, that's pretty much what I just said. Okay. But while you're here, you're still going to have to do episodes of his ridiculous web show. Ah, uh, come on, man! You disappeared off the face of the internet for seven months. That got all of his fans worried that he went missing or something. Now you got to keep uploading videos to make sure that the fans don't think he's going missing. And this week, he will do a theory based off of the X-Men movies. Oh, well, that explains why I'm wearing a Deadpool shirt. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, where am I? I, I thought they turned the house into a spaceship. You are not on Earth, but you are on a planet that is very similar to Earth. We call it Clam Clover. You mainly call it that because that is the name of the planet. Clam Clover. It's as the atmosphere. And the inhabitants are very much like what you would see on Earth. Only it's just nothing but humans. There are no animals. Only humans. Oh. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. 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 All right. I I get this. I get this now. All right. Let's do this. The X Men. Some of the most popular comic book characters of all time. And. One of the biggest movie franchises ever made. And now the X-Men franchise is going to go even bigger. Since they will eventually be heading into the MCU. Along with the Fantastic Four. Basically we'll finally get a good Fantastic Four movie. And even more good X-Men movies. Hopefully another great one. with like, Which can go alongside Deadpool and Logan. 
I just realized something. The X-Men movies are best when they're a rated R. I've never seen Logan. I saw Deadpool 2, though. That's funny. Uh, off topic. Um, so, what we're going to be talking about today is... Uh, something that I'm pretty sure most comic book fans have asked for years. How do you kill Magneto? Now, I know what you all are thinking, but Velma, Magneto's a very powerful dude. How can you kill someone who was able to lift the Golden Gate Bridge with his hand? Without his hand. What can kill him? Well, the answer, my friend, is simple. Bullets. Let me explain. Now, there are six types of magnetism, but the one that we'll be focusing on today is ferromagnetism. Which is pretty much what uh, Magneto does. Pretty much gets everything that's like steel and iron. So, yeah. Which is how he's able to lift the Golden Gate Bridge and, and basically retract missiles. Now, here's the thing most bullets have lead in them. But, here's the thing. In the first X-Men movie, yeah, you know, Magneto stops a bullet. If he can't stop bullets, how is he able to stop that one? Well, if you look at real world facts, at nighttime, policemen use special nickel types bullets. So, that's how he's able to stop it. So, yeah. Magneto's greatest weakness is just a simple bullet. So, yeah, Magneto can get killed by bullets. Can I stop doing this now? I... I need to get... I need to get... It's out of space! Listen, I will do anything you want me to do. Literally anything. Since your sponge and friends think that you are dead, I want you to terrorize them with a ghostly cloak and make them go mad. So what you're pretty much saying is that I'm going to haunt them. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Well, we got ourselves a future.